All right, hi everybody, and welcome back. Uh, so we're here in the office today. Got a, a quick little topic to discuss. So those of you that have been following us for the last few years know that I was a former owner operator, truck driver, owned a couple different trucks, and uh, kind of got out of driving and pivoted to what we do now as far as the maintenance shop owner and all that good stuff. So about two years ago, roughly, when I was still trucking. I put out a video on how to calculate your cost per mile, your fixed cost, variable cost, how much you're making. And uh, when I did it, you know, I'm a pen and paper type of person. So I like to write stuff out. Most stuff I do is that way. So interestingly enough, we had a nice gentleman contact us. We got a great free application online that makes calculating these costs so much simpler, very seamless, in a great way if you're looking to get into being an owner operator, a great way to kind of put in, okay, what's my truck payment gonna be? What's the freight that I'm looking at? You know, to put in a bunch of variables and actually see, you know, basically instantly how much you're gonna make and what you need to make to break even with those $3,000 truck payment. Whatever your costs are gonna be, you can prepare for what you need to make and how you need to run your business. I think it's a great website. So we're gonna show you guys a video and uh, and hopefully you guys will check it out. And uh, again, I think it's a, a great tool. I mean, if you're looking to get into this business or if you already are in the business, you're struggling with your numbers, trying to make ends meet and all that. Like I said, I've said before in this business, You've got to know your numbers from the beginning. If not, you're basically doomed from day one if you don't know what your expenses are, what you need to make, how many miles you need to run a month per this rate that you're getting or whatever. So with that, we're going to go ahead and show this. And like I said, I really highly recommend that you guys check this site out. So to successfully optimize your business, you must first understand exactly where you can reduce your expenses and how much Second, to review your targets for your drivers and your dispatchers. And the third, to understand how a change in a certain parameter affects your net income. In order to demonstrate how a small adjustment can have a good impact on your net profit, I'm going to use a free tool. It's a website. Expenses are true for the previous month. Not all of his trucks are doing profit. Some gain zero or even go negative. It is interesting, isn't it? Let's figure it out. I will be filling out expenses for the trucks that are running negative. First, and the main important thing that I have noticed is uh, that his driver was doing less on total gross and total miles. It's uh, much lesser than a driver should do. So basically, it's $19,000 and almost 8,000 miles. And I know that this driver wasn't working the whole month. So let's try changing this because as you see, his fixed payments remain the same and they will remain the same. Basically, owner is overpaying for his trucks that isn't working, isn't making, isn't gaining him money. Rate per mile is lesser now, but the negative is already 760 bucks versus $2,000, which we started from. Next, the driver salary. He is paying 75 cents per mile to his driver. And this, there's nothing wrong about it. And a couple of years ago, this was an average driver salary, but not now. And this owner cannot afford to pay 75 cents per mile to his driver. The average payment to the driver right now is closer to 65 cents per mile. And we will change this parameter here. Next, fuel. He was paying 85 cents per mile on the fuel, and that's enormous. Actually, fuel prices are high right now, but not as high as he was paying. This may be to a couple of reasons, uh, such as wrong targeting on the weight, like his dispatcher was taking heavy loads. Maybe this was due to bad lane planning, because some states have higher fuel costs and some states have mountains. This could have been due to an old vehicle, but as uh, we see here, he's paying $3,000 for his truck, and I am sure it's a new truck. Anyway, uh, it, there is a possibility to spend much, much lesser on fuel, and let's try imagining what happened if the dispatcher was taking easier loads, and if the truck wasn't running through mountains. This is already looking good, 
but we are not done with the corrections yet. There is a couple of points we can consider changing. He's paying $3,000 for a truck lease, and you may have a better option on spot. Or you may consider taking a used truck. Now, very important, before making this decision, weigh up the pros and cons, because in a long-term run, new trucks appear to be better. New trucks are much more fuel efficient. You won't be spending that much on maintenance. And of course, the risk of unknown history leads to higher breakdown risk if you decide to go with a used truck. This is all about you and what do you have available on spot. You may have your own equipment or maybe you can win a better factoring percentage. And that's exactly what I love in this trucker calculator. It is simple and it suits everybody. I highly recommend checking it out by yourself.